Game one. So game watch's usual plan, at least by Meister, is to get in with a Nair or grab the Weeds to Nair. Let's see if game watch does that. No, he doesn't. He's different than Meister. He just goes in with the immediate dash attack. And a single attack into a dash attack again. So instead of going in with Nair, like Meister, he gets dash attack, single hit, bacon, dash attack. Look at DK's eyes. Look at Donkey Kong's eyes. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Oh, barely got that. You caught the ledge roll. And even though DK is mostly behind, it doesn't matter because he's a big body. The hitbox is still hit. Mia knows this flow chart will negate your character. And Leo, yeah, D DK, by a massive game watch, you can see how a massive game watch can negate the DK. You did a single bacon. Why did he do single bacon? Well, think about it. It wasn't guaranteed. DK could have done something like maybe a getup attack. So look, right here. Let's look at right here. If if DK has a big getup attack, very big. I I think, not 100 percent sure, but I think getup attack might hit game watch. But if you do a single bacon, you could shield the getup attack that might have happened while still retaining advantage. And then taking away the options they want to do. Game wants knows DK might want to jump over him. So you put in an up air. Now you can get an up B. Put it push him back. Put a bomb just to make him forced to drift away. Bacon again. And that up air and air again. Cover options. Rapid A. Look at this sequence. Bro, I'm going to put this on full time. This is 0 to 144 already. Dash attack. Bacon. Dash attack. Bacon. Jabs to make sure you can't roll behind me. Bacon. Dash attack. Uh, it might be called sausage. I don't. I don't know. I just. I always call it bacon. Bomb bacon. I'm pretty sure it's a sausage now, but I'm just gonna call it bacon anyway. Again, bacon. Nair jab. This is like a. It's like a game loss combo video. Holy shit! Another back air. Uh, it'd be so funny if Chunky Kong takes the first hit. Oh my god, me is so good! Got bomb? You could've did bomb grab here. You could've did bomb grab. You could've did bomb grab. Dash attack land behind him. Read the roll. Up air. Oh my god, 183 to 0! This is cra This is crazy. He is the real deal. When he's not nervous, he's the real deal. Nair, Nair, full hop up air, double jump, Nair, up B. Down tilt, but it, that finally trips. DK is looking for cheese. Right there. See, what DK wants is very specific, known as cheese. Well, people call it cheese. We're trying to get Game Watch to somewhere around 50. I'm sure Chunky Kong knows the exact number better. We're trying to get him to a very specific number. To try to get down tilt. And get this to trip. When it trips. Which I think is like a 1 in 3 chance or something. I don't know. He, try, he was trying to get it pummel him to a certain number that he he's going to have memorized. Then he was going to cargo him. Full hop. Put him on a platform. That was from up here. It probably only had to be slightly higher based on the fact that he pummeled twice. Maybe. Perhaps he only need one more pummel. Who knows. He, I know Chunky Kong probably knows. Might be all you need, but the match from Mia perfectly done. Yeah, we kind of touched on the match a little bit before, but again, no, Donkey Kong. Dash attack. Down smash. That, the down smash, by the way, is active for five frames. It's active for five frames. So you could down smash and just destroy people. Now it'll cover a lot of options, like roll and stand up. And it will kill. If the, it won't kill the roll, but it'll kill the neutral getup. And as I said, it's a five frame active window. So it's a five frame window to hit neutral stand. Very, very easy to do. Online and offline. After this misses, you keep advantage state. Me is very good at keeping advantage state. When you fight him, he's what what, do you, what the things he's doing is always have keeping him at the advantage. And the pressure, frame traps and stuff. So right here, he misses the up air. But can jab the 10 frames landing lag. Okay, I lied. 
DK actually could have blocked that because he dashed to the right. There, earlier, the game watch knew, Mia knew that right here, normally a game watch would bacon and the enemy would jump over it. Chunky Kong wanted to jump over the bacon that he thought was going to happen. So he jumped here, but he didn't drift in because he doesn't want to get up there. So he jumps over this bacon potential, but doesn't go here because he doesn't want to get up there. Game watch knows this. This is based on a smart player knowing what another smart player would do, but also can be based on prior observations of what DK did earlier. So you bear that spot. Is the answer. So what Chunky got, what Chunky got Kong did was probably good. But what Mia did was better, because it was the counter to it. Almost tried to get the combo, didn't work. So your up B, his up B is active on frame three. But even though it's active on frame three, it hits for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. With invincibility. So frame three active, but five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve is invincible. It will always win. So it's fast, but also has a lot of invincibility. Deadly combination. A deadly combination. And now between the back airs and the up B's, Gilmas is as guarding is dangerous. Arguably the best Edgeguard in the game, depending on the match situation. And you can get a lot of jabs here. Big body, Nair combo, put him back to ledge. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. And no, he knew DK had to grab. And even when he messes up, like, DK leads this early kill. This is, I say that, of course. But look, he, last stock 119. One bacon shield. Mia does this a lot. This is a, uh, Mia does this a lot. Pichu might be the best, actually, at Gimping. One bacon shield, just in case they get up attack. That's why he's shielding. He does a bacon to shield. If the opponent knows about this, they can intentionally just ledge jump. Frames 1 through 12 are invincible. Go through the bacon. And then be in the air, and then double jump back to center. And Gamos will have to chase the landing. Has the chef set up, and the not going to kill. Get off the ledge against Game Watch. How do you get back to the ledge and then how do you get off the ledge? Wow. I mean, Mia just took. All right. Game two. Chunky Kong shows Sora's stage. Run up and dash attack across the stage. Was the run up safe? No. But it was, was it expected? Also, no. So, a good mix up. Good combo. Oh, Phantom hit. Okay, that's actually... Okay, I'm not... Not to toot my own horn, he did the same combo I do. So, you basically what you do is you get this Nair, right? But then on certain platforms, most notably on Town City, because it's like the Town City middle platform, you up tilt. Right here. Then you get a Nair. Uh, normally... Okay, actually, this is even better. I usually do Nairs here to get a bunch of Nairs, like Nair, 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 up B, then downer. But he did an up air into a double jump Nair to that. Now, I do this too. Instead of the bomb, you do this down air. And this is really good. But right here, it phantom hit. And that means that even though the next frame would have hit anyway, the next frame would have hit anyway, right here. See, this phantom hit here. And this next frame, which would have hit anyway, it doesn't count because of the phantom. So this is actually Game Watch getting unlucky. Grazing and phantom hits just shouldn't exist. It's a bad mechanic in Smash, and it shouldn't exist. I stand by that. Me, I got screwed by bad luck here. He deserved that downer. Back air, and as I said, DK is going to jump there. He always tries to up be out, but stool, but gets nothing. The consistency of the ledge chef is so good. Mia knew he didn't have to shield. Why? Because he's far enough to not be threatened by get up attack. Get up attacks are invincible in this game, but he was behind that, so he didn't have to worry about it.
That would be grab. He could kill now. Wait, can he? Maybe not. I was thinking, with, I was thinking kill with up smash. Ooh, got the grab. Got the F tilt. Dude, he's so good at this. He's even better than Meister at this. Oh, he reacted to the roll. I usually do that when when a heavyweight's at like 170, like a Bowser of DK's at 170. That's when down and raw kills. But even if it doesn't raw kill, it still puts game you know, at a good advantage. The DK is actually in the lead. Ooh, that was a good sequence. Nair up air, but he knew but game lots could do doubles on up air. And I know that Meister does the dollars up air a lot to continue with frame, frame advantage. But I actually agree with what Mia does because I think that pushing them to the left and forcing them into a recovery position is more viable, personally. So I like this up B and put the bomb and I force him back to the ledge. And then you can mix up bear grab or whatever. Now, DK found a way to not to get out of this trap, but most people wouldn't get out of that. So, got the down B down tilt. Down B, down to it. But he got the B verse on it. This is what I was talking about earlier. DK wants this down to it. Is this... Set? Wait, is down to it, down to it true? Wait. That's a real combo? Oh my god, that's broken. I didn't realize that till just now. I knew about the trip combo. But apparently at certain percents, there's enough hit stun that it combos into itself even without the trip. That was pure hit stun. Now I understand why the, it's so consistent. And he, I'm sure he knows the percents he's fishing for. So all this, the moment he hit that down B, or even the first down tilt, that was all guaranteed, except for the fact that he was hoping that the second one tripped. The only luck-based part here was that this, he was hoping that the second one tripped. When it does, you just kill him. That's powerful. Can we just talk about how the can we just talk about how the color purple and shades of violet are amazing? I love, you know. Chat, you know what's really dumb? The fact that this is a hazard. The fact that this is a hazard. Did you know that this background change counts as a hazard? I'm pretty sure. Am I wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But I think this counts as a hazard. Which is stupid. Because tournaments use hazards off. And this should obviously not be a hazard. It's nothing more than a visual effect. And it's so cool. And... Did they just change the hazard just for this level? The meta is to literally, like, they should have, Nintendo never should have made this a hazard. It's so stupid. This is so cool. And look at these colors. I know it's supposed to be analysis, but, like, look at these colors. The purple, blue, and everything. This is so cool. And it's always different. This is, it's beautiful. Anyway, that's my little rant. All right, this is the same flow. This is the same stuff I already talked about earlier. Oh, oh, I think Game Watch messed up. I don't think he meant to do that. What was that grab range? What? What? And th this was a trade, but still. There was a trade on the jab, but still. 
I knew pivot grabs were big, but holy crap. Yeah, dude, if you've, if you've never seen Bowser's pivot grab in Smash 4, holy shit. That was dumb. I lost to a Bowser once in Smash 4 because I was, like, destroying him with Cloud, and he just pivot grabbed me. I was literally spacing Bear, and he pivot grabbed me from, like, a million miles away, and I was like, what the heck? And then up through kill me. I was like, this is so stupid. <laughs> he literally does what DK does, but I didn't... It was like one, on one of the bounce patches where Bowser had that combo. But his... I didn't know his pivot grab did that too. He can't Bowser have ridiculous pivot grabs. Bowser's grab in that game it was dumb. Dash attack, gets the down B. Bunch of nares into up B. Thanks for the uh, head, uh, thank you, evil the head shark for the follow. Nair up air, nair up B. Up air again, and a trap. Oh, me is very good at this. Do you love me? Thank you. If you love me. So I wanted to mention that down smash. I wanted to talk about that real quick. Mia does this a lot. Where he does like this trap and he uses either the side platform to the top platform. And then when they're directly above him, he knows they're going to air dodge left or right. Because they're trying to air dodge out of, you know, any other attack. Because they're scared of getting much up air and all this other stuff. Mia knows they're scared of the buttons. So if he sees them directly above him, Mia likes to gamble that they're air dodge. Mia gambles this a lot. It's like right here. Directly above, he knows they can't get up. Most of the cast can't drift away. Like maybe something like Puff or Yoshi can because they've drift super far. Most of the cast doesn't get away in time. So Mia does this a lot where he he knows they're scared right there. Down smash. This, this is super common. And then there, you know the enemy's gonna try to jump. Because when you if you ledge jump, I, I, I know even so one through twelve. Game one through twelve, but it doesn't count as your double jump. So you can get hit and then jump. The top players like Meister and Mia, the experienced game watchers, they know that though. They know that you keep the jump and that they're gonna jump. The new game watchers won't know, but the Meister and Mia will know. Mia's going for consistency. Easy kill. Goes in if the nair doesn't work. Rapid jabs. Jump back for the bacon. Oh, he's he game wants okay, so here game wants made a mistake, but then he realized the mistake. The mistake was he went further than intended. He went further than intended. Wasn't able to even hit hit the ledge. He knew DK would probably jump, take advantage of this. So his backup plan is to nair. That was a smart backup plan. It didn't work here, but it easily could have, and it was a very logical decision by me to do this nair. And then do the nair again, fade back this time. That covers uh these cover different timings of jumps, and it's relatively safe. You know, obviously you can still get up attack it, but it's not a big deal if you get hit by that. Covers the jump, keep safe on stand-up, hits the most jump timings. Good stuff overall. Gets the nair because it lasts a long time for the juggle. Nair B probably. Oh, he misses it. Instead of Mia doing this dumbass game once down that everyone does, he didn't do it here. I promise you, Meister probably would have Meister probably would have downed it here. That is actually not bad. If you auto cancel the downer, it's pretty good. But it's just that it's obvious. It's just that even if you know down downer is so good that like even if you know it's coming, it's not that easy to beat. So like even if the game watch players themselves know, hey, this is obvious, it's like, yeah, so what if it's obvious? What do you what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Most people get yeah. Can't actually do anything about it. Even if they know they're gonna, even if they know Gamas is gonna down her, most people are just gonna fail the punish anyway. Because it's not that easy. Right here, it sees, cause like right here, you up B, right? You up B. All the noobs, all the noob Gamas were down her every time. Oh, do I, if you do that online on a weed smash against a noob, you destroy them every time. Anyway, 
So the, the top player, like Nia, knows the other top player, like Sharky, is going to wait for the downer. Sharky's trying to block, waiting for the aerial. Mia knows that that threat of downer exists. So he doesn't actually have to press downer. He knows the enemy might shield and move away to the side to try to counterplay it. Because that's part of Game Watch's toolkit, you know, they're both experienced players. That's why they chose the options they did here. That's why Game Watch was able to just land here for free. By the way, if anyone wants coaching, you can book with me on Medify. That's uh, number three in my Google Doc right here. Let's read the first three things. All right. F tilt. I used to main game once at one point. Nair jabs. Got the downer up smash. That's uh, one of Chunky Kong's ways of killing. DK does not want to get hit, but doesn't matter. Yeah, game that was a good F top by Game Watch. Nair lands behind, but that was good by DK to drop short turn on grab. Another thing I see Chunky Kong do is like you just jump up B or maybe it's double jump up B. He turns around and gets the grab. Oh, he's the bomb in the combo. That was, I don't agree with that. It, yeah, it worked out. But that was kind of lucky. Yeah, DK just fell and didn't press a button. It was lucky. He didn't, he just fell and didn't press a button. Probably because it was so unexpected. <laughs> yeah, I knew it, dude. DK side B and neutral and giant punch both have armor. I was thinking he might do one of the two there. That was nice. Uh, what tell? What makes you think it's minus two for Fox? Maybe that's that. Maybe that that's false info, all along. That's what I think. Maybe it's maybe it's minus two if two noobs fight, because Game Watch has it easier. But that doesn't represent the highest level of play. Matchups at the highest level of play is not the same as the matchup at average or lower levels of play. The masses are not gonna care about the highest level of play. They're gonna care about the average level of play or lower level. The highest level is only gonna matter players of me at lights level. We can watch Mia Light next. Got the down smash into the F smash. Got the Nair jabs. Me got the Nair, 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 up B. Now, remember when I mentioned this earlier, how that hits ledge roll, but it also hits neutral stand? Not only does this hit neutral stand with the giant frame 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 active window. Five frame window, by the way. Very easy to react online and offline. Really broken. Um, you can, this F smash kills super early. Even on DK, he'll, he'll explode. Oh my God. I lied. Most characters die from the down smash at 50. Okay, so most of the cast dies at 50 from the down smash. DK was at 62, so I incorrectly assumed he would die. Okay, actually, DK could have... Uh, to be honest with you, Game Watch could have charged that move a bit. Game Watch could have charged that F-Smash a bit. And if he did the slightest charge, I think it would have killed. Even the tiniest bit. Those characters die around 50. 
Anyway, he just said that could he I think Mia just didn't want to risk it because he's confident in his ledge trap anyway. And he gets the kill. And that's that's uh Mia. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell icon, comment, let the whole video play and all that stuff on my Twitch and YouTube always helps out. Read this stuff if you want to sub to my Twitch. Support me financially for free. Get coaching, donations, or any of my other stuff, my Discord, merch, or whatever. Thank you very much. All right. And that'll be the end of this video. Thank you.